What is my Microsoft account recovery email? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. One of the important parts about keeping your accounts online secure is to have and keep up to date recovery information. Recovery information is used when you want to regain access to account that for some reason you've lost access to. The easy example is if you've forgotten your password, but there are other scenarios where you might need to do that. The recovery email is the email address that the service then sends information to that basically allows you to prove you are who you say you are and then get you back into your account. What I'm going to look at today is where to find your existing recovery email address in Outlook.com and how to set it if you don't have one already, or how to change it if it's no longer valid. So here we are at Outlook.com. I've logged into my email, so I'm in my Microsoft account. And in fact, that's what we need to manage. I'll click on the profile icon in the upper right, and then click on my Microsoft account. That's where the magic happens. On the left-hand side, we'll click on security. Of course, you may be asked along the way to further confirm you are who you say you are. That's important because it prevents someone from walking up to your logged in machine and doing what we're about to do. So we are finally in security. We'll hit advanced security options. So here in this account, we can see I actually have three email addresses set up as recovery email addresses. Leo at askleo.com is one of them. And then I have a couple of others just in case. There's no harm in having multiple recovery email addresses. So if all you're looking to do is know what your email address, what your recovery email address already is set to, this is where you go because it'll show you right there what email address is associated with it. Now, if you don't have one, or if you just want to add another one, then the thing to do is down here, click on add a new way to sign in or verify. You could then use an app, email a code, use your Windows PC, which is Windows Hello, um, or use a hardware key. Since this article is specifically about email addresses, that's what we're going to do. We will enter that and I will now add askleotest at gmail.com as another recovery email address for this account. Now, in order to ensure that you don't add an account that you don't have access to, you need to prove that you have access to that account by entering the code that they then send to it. So over here in Gmail, we have Microsoft account security code. I'm just going to copy it to my clipboard so that I can come back here and enter it. Boom. There it is, this new email code alternate recovery address. So that's how you add one. And we can see the addresses that are there. What if you want to change one? Changing one turns out to be really, really easy. Let's say now that I wanted to get rid of this Ask Leo Test 2 one. I could click on it, click on Remove, and now it's not here. To change something, then we would just go back and add a new one. So basically, you can see what they are. You can add one if you don't have one. If you want to change one, then you simply remove it and add its replacement. That's really all that's involved. And I strongly, strongly recommend that you take the time to A, visit this page and see what's set up for your Microsoft account. And B, if it's not what you expected, or if there's nothing there at all, add something now and make sure that it's the email address of an account that you have access to. Someday in the future, Hopefully you'll never need this, but someday you may thank me. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 
169010. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.